mean? You know what I mean? So, you got it? Okay. Okay, thanks. Hello, handsome. No public displays of affection at school. Oh, but you know I'm a bad girl. How bad? So bad. Really bad? Very, very bad. Say something sexy. <gasps> I finished unpacking the last box today. We are completely moved in. Oh my god, I'm so turned on right now. <laughs> Only took eight months. But it's done. We're home. Only a few things left. Oh, just a few things left. What a few things left? It's nothing. You promised me a door for the hall closet. Oh, yeah. And we need curtains for the mudroom. And a rug for the guest room. And that's it. And that's it. For now. <laughs> you knew what I was when you married me. Uh, geez, it, Mom. That's the principal. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hello, Miss Eden. Hi, Miss Raleigh. I'm just here to pick up Kane, and I'll quit distracting your foreman. I'm just saying, I think he's doing a great job. Uh, the work is above average, although we've been up against the clock, haven't we? Yes, and I do need to get back to work. Oh, uh, right. We got to pour that concrete. It's going to set overnight. Okay. Back to the salt mine. Okay. See you tonight. Uh, poppy seed chicken. Oh, I'm there. Okay. And I do need to go get Kane, but I want to thank you again for this opportunity for my family. If it weren't for you and the board allowing Red to trade for the school is gonna be so great. We could never do this right now without this arrangement. Kane is continuing to assimilate here. Uh, slower than the teachers would like, but I think there's a great chance that eventually he'll be a good fit here. Well, thank you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Hey, buddy. Ready to go? Look what I found in a flea market today. Remember your favorite one we lost in the move? My car. And one just like it. Thanks, Mom. Oh, you're so welcome, honey. Ooh. Ready to go? So sorry, buddy. I know it's hard, but we have to keep trying. I hate school. I hate it. Kids don't like me. The teachers are mean. Get in trouble all day for nothing. This is why they wouldn't let me have my cars in class. They hate me here. God, they don't hate you. They don't, Kate. They just don't know you yet. I don't want to go to school here. Oh, well, that's not up for discussion. I don't want to go to school here. Kane. When we moved here, we thought there would be more work for your daddy, but it was slower than we wanted. And, you know, we want to put you in the best school we possibly can. You you know what Dr. Timmons said. I have to go to a special school where they can help me because my brain works different. That's right. And you don't have to be embarrassed about that, honey. We want the very best for you. And daddy is trading work for you to be able to go to this special school. You know, we can't afford it any other way, remember? I remember. Okay, so as long as Daddy is working for this school, this is your school. Okay? Okay. Kane is good. He told me to hug the phone when you called. Uh, yeah, Red is great. The school job has been great word of mouth. Lots of compliments from the parents about the work. Mm -hmm. Well, and you know they all have money or they'd be at a different school, so. Oh, hey, Mom, I need to go. I have a guest. Okay, I love you. Okay, bye. Coming. Hi, Evelyn. Come inside. Mm. The swords always freak me out. Well, they don't mean anything. Oh, I know. Not on their own. I know, it's just a knee-jerk reaction. Hmm. Mm. It's all good. 
It's about red. Your husband, more opportunities, more freedom, more money. <laughs> well, that's all good news. Now, it's on you. What is this? Oh, um, it's a Pisces, a portal. Something for you is um, opening. Oh, we've talked about starting a new internet business to sell some of my hobby work. Maybe. The feet is bigger. It is. You should be careful. It's bad? Anytime you open a new door, you can never be sure what's on the other side of the wall until you're there. Princess, you can be good. It's dangerous. You think this is dangerous? I don't know. You should be cautious when you open up. Go to your room. Wouldn't stop laughing at me, Mom. Okay. Do what your dad says. We'll talk later. Uriah, good to see you. Hello. Excuse me. Really, the third visit from the psychic? I wanted him to bless the house now that we're finally unpacked, and he doesn't want to be called a psychic. He's an auger. He's a psychic you found on Craigslist. Humor me. I wanted the house blessed. Craigslist didn't have priests? Mm. I can't believe I'm going to say this. Can he come back later? Can he come back later? Yes. All right. I took the rest of the afternoon off to deal with this. I'm going to go shower. Uh, Uriah, would you mind coming back for the blessing next week? Oh, well, of course, of course. Next week. <laughs> so what happened? He said, at lunchtime, all these kids were laughing at him. And he has to sit down, and they kept making fun of him, and finally he hit one, and another kid jumped on him, and then the teachers had to pull him apart. And then Raleigh calls me in, along with the counselor, and sends him home for the day, and now he's got a three-day in-school suspension. So what do we do now? But all these other kids are starting it. Are you no, no, he can't hit other kids. Well, he's got to stand up for himself. If these other kids are going to... No, he can't hit other kids. He can't. It's not the way the world works. No, it is the way the world works. But he can't hit other kids and stay at this school. And we need this school. So what do we do now? So, no video games, no movies, no TV, no apps, okay? For how long? We're gonna start with two weeks. That's forever. You'll live. And if we don't see improvement, it could be longer. That's not fair. No, you know what's not fair? Is us making the sacrifices that we're making for you to go to that school and then you not following simple rules. Mm -hmm. So, you're grounded. It's gonna be homework and chores. You can still play outside and draw and play with your cars. But your counselor and the principal think that too much screen time is having a negative effect. Can I have my cars in class? Just one. No, buddy, no cars in class. We do have some good news, though. Well, you shouldn't think of this as a reward because you are grounded. The counselor thinks you need to spend some time outside, burn off some energy. So we're going to go for a hike tomorrow. A hike? In the woods? Yeah, we're going to go to the state park and take a hike and have a picnic on the... Can I bring my binoculars? Can I bring my magnifying glass? Yeah, well, you can bring whatever you want. Load up your backpack, but we can't get too excited. we got to go to sleep tonight. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. Okay, okay. Get under the covers. You need to get some sleep if you're going to run all over the forest tomorrow. Good night, buddy. Good night, baby. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Get up. Who's up? Get up. Get up. Usually your mom get up. has to drag you out of bed by the ears. Oh, I'll start breakfast if you can make sandwiches for lunch. Oh, I need, I need, uh, I need big, big pieces of bread to make a cane sandwich for the bear. There's bears. There aren't any bears. There's definitely bears. There's definitely bears. <laughs>
Curtains are huge right now. <laughs> sure they are. What? <laughs> we need something at the end of the hall. That rent house is, it looks like a condo. It's what was available. I'm not complaining. I'm, I'm grateful we were able to find something. Are we ready to have the talk again? About? What if it helped? I'm not stuffing him full of pills, Red. I'm not talking about pouring beds down his neck. We don't frame it like that. I'm just... I'm just asking if we... If we carefully and thoroughly... It's not a quick fix side effects, the months it takes to dial in the dosage. I just want to make sure that we are open to every option that might help him. I'm open. I never stop researching. I, I'm not hung up on vaccines. I'm not that person. I just haven't seen anything that makes me believe a pill is the answer. Got you a little something. For what? For being great. How about the move and, and all the sacrifices you're making for your family? I know the house isn't what you had envisioned when we made our fresh start, but. Is it a sack of diamonds? It's a diamond. Did you give me a potato sack full of diamonds? Well, it's not in the sack. <laughs> My own online store. I bought the URL and uh, I set up a simple website. It connects to all the crafty sites and oh my God. I mean it's not finished, but it'll take payments and everything. This, this is so great. <laughs> Do you like it? Yes, thank you, thank you. I wish I could. Where's Kane? <laughs> it's a door. I see it's a door. It's a really cool door. Cool. <laughs> yes, yeah, vintage, weathered. It's, it's creepy. Every antique has a story, and you always assume it's creepy. <laughs> this is creepy. What, someone left a door out here? No, people dump treasures all the time. Look, we even left the key. It's just waiting for us. All it needs is to be refinished with a little love and care. Are you serious? Yeah, you see creepy, I see potential. Red, it even looks like it's the right size. I love your creative vision, but I do not see it. I always see the potential. It's why I married you. Yeah. Look, it's not a beaded curtain. <laughs> and if the house is finished, then I can focus my full attention on getting the online store up and running. 
I go get the truck. I I'm not hauling that thing back down there. You're the sure. bestest, strongest husband ever. <laughs> You have a late night snack? Uh, no, not me. No. Oh, he's sleepwalking again. And sleep eating? Didn't even bother heating it up, just munched on it cold. I got to go to work early to make up for that half day on Friday. Can you take Kane to school? Sure, sure. You don't want any bacon? Nah. Or a waffle? <laughs> no, I'm good. Love you. Love you, too. I'm so sleepy. Yeah, I figured. Do you remember getting up last night? No. Well, eat fast. We're gonna be late. Oh, Kane, you've got to comb your hair. Rat milk. I'll pick some up after I take you to school. Eat. Did you leave some food in a jacket pocket or something? The closet reeks. No. Oh, my God. Shoes. Gross. Uh, you done? Get your backpack. Let's go. Swears he didn't do it. Well, maybe they crawled in from the vent. Red, it was full. Full. They didn't climb in there. Well, yeah, I'll talk to him, but maybe you want me to put some traps in there just in case? <laughs> sure, put some traps in there, see if they catch anything. And talk to Kane. Yeah. Sleep. I'm having bad dreams. Oh, you okay? Yeah, it's nothing. I just. It's... I'm watching. 
walk into a house with lots of rooms and it's following me. It? It's a bad thing. What's the bad thing? I don't know. It's just a bad thing. It wants to get me. A monster? You okay, buddy? You know, we're right across the hall. I'm not gonna let anything happen to you. I know. You know, there's no such thing as monsters, right? Yeah. They aren't real. I don't believe in monsters, but I'm scared of them. Well, can you think of happy things? Like taking a hike, or a cool bug, or um, driving a fast car? I try to think of happy things, but every time I close my eyes, I see the bad thing. Well, can you think of anything that can make you think of good things? Grandma's prayer. Okay. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. no longer a safe place. This house has changed. Come inside. Thank you. What's wrong? I, I'm not sure, but this house is unclean. It is afflicted by spirits. Dark phantoms held by the dignity of the veil. My house is haunted? No, no. The evil has an invitation. Someone brought it here. Like, we invited an evil spirit? Okay. I believe in psychic ability and the tarot, but ghosts, isn't that a little... You cannot believe in only half of the next world. I sense malice from the other side. Okay. We must bless this house. Thank you. 
Okay. All done. Understand? There are no guarantees. I understand. You should remove the door. Burn it. Oh, okay. I'll I'll talk to Red. Be careful. Be careful with things you bring into this house. Ah, oh, second one. What is with these bits? Not coming out. No, it won't budge. These pins are stuck in here. I can't knock them out. Well, how are we going to get it out then? I don't know. A sledgehammer? Honey, this isn't a one-night job. But I want it gone. Sweetheart, you begged for this door. And now one word from your psychic friend, who, by the way, made his fourth visit here today, and you want to pull it? You love this door. You said it was perfect. I know. I thought it was creepy. You said, no, he says it's creepy. I know. You sure you're not overreacting? You always say I'm overreacting. Well. OK, well, he cleared the house, so maybe we're good. I'm sure that did it. Cleared the house. <sighs> Honey, I will get to it. I just can't do it tonight. Fine. We'll just keep it till the weekend and see. Maybe on the weekend you can get a nice beaded curtain. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Actually, I'm looking for reference material um, for any local stories or legends about, about supernatural stuff. Oh, local haunts and ghost stories? Yes, exactly. There is a local interest section. There might be some books there you'd be interested in. Okay. Ghost stories, old haunts. Was there something in particular? Uh, you know, I, I don't really know where to start. Do you have any ideas? For there are some more recent things. Kids still talk about the haunted bridge down Waters Road, a spooky well, and there is the vanishing children. Uh, ch the children? Oh, okay. yeah. For decades, this town has been known for children being, well, taken. Come with me. That's it. She was the last one. Maggie Bradford. This is over 20 years ago. Well, they stopped after her. The vanishings? They go way back before that, at least a couple of years. There were some arrests, but no convictions. And no one ever found them? Not a one. Some decaffeinated. Sleepy time, T. What's going on? I went to the library today to do some research. About the door. Yeah. Did you find anything? Yeah, some stuff about missing children who were never found. You know, every town has missing children's stories. This is a lot of children over a long time, Red. It, it's unnerving. Well, you know, you can get unnerved when children are in danger. And especially Kate. And I think it's because it was so much work having him. Well, it wasn't so much work, but we were very lucky. We were so lucky. And the stress of moving. And your psychic buddy throwing fuel on the fire. 
I think you're getting caught up in creepy stories. How are we supposed to tell Kane there's no such thing as ghosts if Mommy's jumping in shadows? Yeah, I know you're right. Set the timer on the coffee maker last night. I did it. Oh, my hero. Mm. You want eggs? I could just do okay. toast and coffee. Yeah, but you'd like eggs. <laughs> I don't mind. My hero. <sighs> if you uh, get Kane ready for school, I'll take him. Take a look at this. Maybe this weekend we get a new door. As you know, this is not our first incident. As accommodating as this school may be, we have a zero tolerance policy for violence. We know. And I've talked to several other families. And while I don't excuse their behavior, How can they just kick him out? It's private school and do whatever they want. That, that school was built for special kids, kids with knees like canes, to kick him out. It's, it's not fair, it's not right, and it's what happened. <sighs> On Monday, I'll go talk to Principal Rowley. Maybe she'll be in a different frame of mind. But as it is, we're gonna start looking for a new school. I'll call the tutor the council recommended. Maybe he won't fall too far behind while he's out of class. How much does a tutor cost? It's not cheap. I'll get a job. The online business can wait. I may have to. You know, the contract I signed with the school about trading renovations for Kane's tuition? Well, now that Kane's no longer in school, I get a cash payment. A low cash payment. How low? Low. 
Are we going to be able to pay the bills? We'll figure something out. The important thing is we get back in school. But how do we even... Punish him? Do we? I mean, those other kids, those kids push him, and then he, he's already grounded. I'll take him to work with me tomorrow. It's Saturday, nobody will be at school. He can do his math workbook and his reading. If he stays here, it'll be too much like vacation. You're a good dad. You're a great mom. We'll figure it out. We always do. Good for your dad today. Don't distract him from work. Okay. okay. Bye. Love you. Have a good day. Hello, um, my name is Evelyn Eden, and I was just wondering, and I know this sounds odd, um, but I was wondering if you had any information about the old house that used to be in the clearing, the one that burned? What about it? I was just looking for anyone with any information about it. I wanted to, um, th there was a door. You're the one that took the door. What do you know about that door? Everything. You made a terrible mistake. Okay, eat your lunch, do your math, read, no TV, no games, okay? Okay. I mean it. I'm just running to the lumberyard. I'll be right back. Lock the door. I know. Lock the door, keep my phone on, don't open the door, and don't tell me when you're home. Oh, you got it. No games. I know. My daughter, Maggie, vanished, just like all the others. No clues, no demands, no leads, just gone. Maggie, Maggie Bradford, your daughter was the last victim. I knew it was that damn house. Who lived there? No one. The house had been abandoned for years. But every story about a missing kid led up to that house. I started thinking there was something wrong with the house, the house itself. That the house was taking the children. I told her to stay away from that house. I knew, I knew I was wrong. And I wasn't gonna let that house take another child. You burned it. I took eight gallons of kerosene. And I burned it to the ground. All of it. Except the door. It wouldn't burn.
I took two more gallons of gas and I lit it up. That door wouldn't burn. So I buried it. And I buried that door eight feet underground. And I threw the key in the pond. So why was I went back the next day? And that door was standing in its place. Straight up like an oak. Like it had grown there out of the ground. Key in the lock. So I wrapped it in chains. And I fastened that key in the lock. And I left it to rot. And the children stopped vanishing for 20 years. But then you took the door. We took off the chain. You let it loose, Miss Eden. What is it, Mrs. Bradford? What is behind that door? I don't know. But it takes children. And it doesn't give them back. I don't know what it is. But it's a very bad thing. Oh, honey, I need to go. Thank you, I need to Get go. Get rid of that door, Miss Eden! You know, every time I was missing children's stories, opening, any time you open, you I was supposed to tell Kane there's no such thing as ghosts as long as jumping in the shadows. Where's my phone? I need to make a call. I'm gonna call your mom again. No. I'm gonna call an expert. Who? Don't try to talk me down. You left me here. 
try to make me think of. You made me think I was crazy, but I'm not. I know what happened to Kane. I'm gonna do anything I can to get him back. Now, where's my phone? We may be able to get Kane back, but we must move quickly. I can hear the other side, and they can hear me. We may be able to make a bargain for your son's return. How do we do it? Hmm. It will be difficult. It will be frightening. We will hold a ceremony, not here. The place where you found it. Yeah. That's the place where it took Cain. What's it like? This thing, this bad thing that took Cain. It is an ancient evil. We must not take it lightly. We are going into battle. What do we need? I have the tools I need, but bring the door. Salt circle for protection. Don't break it. Try to stay inside of it. What would happen if, if you step outside of the circle? Try to stay inside of it. Think of it as a shield between us and any angry spirits. So, the, sp the spirits will be angry? Oh, yeah. You put out the shards. Water, please. These are levers 
of spirits between us and the one keeping Cain. Gatekeepers, sentries, we will go deep through many levels. Each level have different techniques and rituals. You must agree to follow my directions completely and without hesitation. Of course. You may hear things. You may see things. You may... No matter what happened here tonight, focus on the goal. Don't be shaking. Don't be dissatisfied. Don't let hope to fear bring Cain home. Close your eyes. If you hear a bell ringing, squeeze my hands. We need to speak with other spirits. Beyond the veil, and grant us the passage to the other side. Spirit of the veil, are you there? S Spirit hunting the veil, are you there? Veil, we have returned. The door to its right place as to of a good faith. Do you sense the door? Keep your eyes closed. Just do it. We have to force a little bit. Hold my hand tightly. Pray, 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 pray. We are beyond now. So beyond? Mm -hmm. The veil. We need some help from uh, other spirits. The totem for halal them answer my questions. One knock. Yes. Two knocks. No. Spirit, are you there? Spirit, answer me. 
Are you there? Are you light spirit? If you truly dark spirit, then you know I can speak on the other side. Do you know who I am? Then you know what I can do. We are looking for a boy from the side of living. Have you sensed him? Will you help us? I can compel you. I command you to accept us. I command you to... Oh my god, they're not gonna help us, are they? You're not done. He is in the darkest place. 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 He is in the Place your hands on the toy. Keep your pressure light, feather light. Don't attempt to move the car. Shut and let it move. And let your hands follow it. Are there spirits willing to speak with us? A willing spirit. Any spirit willing to speak with us. We are looking for a boy, a living boy, that we're taking to the other side tonight. Oh my God. Yes. He is called Cain. Do you know where he is? Tell us where he is. You will, you will tell us where Cain is. the boy where he came who got the boy
<laughs> what now? I need to share them with the gatekeeper. I can't do that without his name. Can you try again? I only had one boy. I've never seen him do this to one. If you had another, could they destroy that one too? I need each attachment protecting. I, I, I never thought I... So you have her name. This is a powerful dark force. And the only gatekeeper to whatever demonic entity had taken Cain. Are you saying you can't? No, no, no. He can do it. You can do I, it, right? I, I, I can. So what is it? I, I'm about to open a dark doorway. About it. What have we been doing so far? The next step is taxing, difficult, and dangerous. Please sit. Before we, before we open the dark door to darkness and evil. I want you to know, I believe Cain is alive. With all my heart, I truly do. But? But before we open the door, I want to be sure. I want to try and talk to Cain. We, we can talk. Possibly. Yes, but this is very disturbing. I want you to be prepared and focused. Yeah. Okay, anything. Hit pencils. Dark 
shy. There are too many dark spirits between us. I can't. What does that mean? I, I believe King is alive. I am an open vessel. A pie dish for the dark spirits called Impusa. I summoned the gatekeeper to speak to the dark spirits beyond this door. Through to me, Impusa. Allow me to. I am Impuza. I am the guardian of the gate to the void. We seek an audience with the entity behind the door. The one that would take him. Name it Cain. You do not want to speak to my master, living one. He is the prince of sorrows and suffering. He is glorious in his evil. We must speak with him. He does not belong there. My master would disagree. He relishes the pitiful wailings of the boy. I doubt he will give up his pet. The boy parents are here. They are willing to bargain with your master. Bargain? What pain could they bring that would suffice in trade? What pain could they offer as tribute? Let us speak with your master. Is he afraid? Of afraid? My master? He is fear formed into consciousness. He saps on the beasts that quake men's bones. He is not afraid. Then one night, let us speak with him. Why not let him grant us in our audience? We are afraid. Let him destroy our fear in his presence. And no harm could come from hearing and considering Bargain! The boy is so important to you that he would stand at the feet of pain and terror and still have the loins to offer a bargain. Yes! Yes! He is that important to these people! And you may speak to my master on his grounds. Place the key under the door. Have respect to you of the living. My master is simple and cruel. Oh, oh, Uriah, are you all right? I'm okay. I'm okay. You have the key here. You heard the warnings. Are you ready? Yes. Yes, yes, I am.
Are you okay? Something, something in my arm. I, I'm okay. And both of us. Just let Kane go. He doesn't want you. You are not children. What is he? There's something about the fear of a child that is unique. We will do anything in our power, anything, to make an exchange. We will do anything. You have no power to satisfy his body. You have no leverage. You only have his power. What does that mean? If he won't bargain, then we won't leave. We'll stay here with Kane. Never choose his pain. No, 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 no. I, I'm, I'm sorry that I made the threat. I, I, I apologize. I'm sorry. I'm so, so sorry. What does it mean? Only his power. What does that mean? A bargain will have to amplify his power. A bargain. Would mean 
and intricacy influence a wider result. It sounds like it already has a deal in mind. From the beginning, he always did. To get your son back, you would endure any anger if it means safety and peace. But what if that wasn't a bargain? What if you were meant to pay so much mystery? What price would be too much if others pay it? Would you? Except that is my son. And I will do anything, anything to get him back home safe. Then we have a deal. make good on this deal or penalties will be severe I will I'll be leaving here I'm going back west I suggest you do the same we will not meet again Whatever you must to forget the cost of the deal or the weight of it will crush you. Forget it. anymore. We 
You aren't going to leave here anymore, baby. Just rest, okay? I'm going to pack up some stuff, and then later we're going to go to Grandma's. Okay. Just try to get some sleep. Isn't Daddy going with us? Daddy has to stay behind a few days. He has some work to finish.